In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert PowerPoint native and ThinkSell charts into Empower charts. Let's start with the possibilities of how you can access the converter. On this slide, you can see a PowerPoint native chart. The first option of how I can convert it into an Empower chart is by simply clicking on the chart and then clicking on this button right here. Then I can select the chart type that I want to use. Usually the right type is already pre-selected. A similar way to access the converter is by navigating the Empower Charts menu in the Insert section of PowerPoint and choosing the chart form right here. Note that when you choose one of these two options of using the converter, you cannot see the original chart anymore. But the next ways of using the converter offer such possibilities. And in order to show you them, I simply undo the conversion. I can click on the split button more. You can see that I have the option to either convert all charts on the slide or all charts in the presentation. If I choose to convert all charts on this slide, a backup copy of the original is created right after the current slide, as you can see right here. If I choose to convert all charts in the presentation, a copy of the presentation is made and converted. The converter is able to convert PowerPoint native and ThinkSell charts. The main focus of this video will be the conversion of ThinkSell charts because this is the most frequent use case and because the challenges of successful conversion are oftentimes non-existing while converting PowerPoint native charts. And if there are some things that need to be adjusted, they work in most cases the same way as I'm going to explain you right now using the example of ThinkSell charts. Before all else, the converter creates very good results in many cases, but requires some rework in certain cases, which we're going to take on a look right now, starting with charts in general. And after that, information on the conversion of Gantt and waterfall charts will follow. Right here you can see the non-limitations of the converter and on this side you can see the corresponding hints for reworking converted charts. First of all, there might be some issues with the number format in some cases. And I have the possibility to either check the Excel number format and select Use Excel Format or manually select the desired number format in the Properties menu. Moreover, in some cases, the access settings might be wrong, which I can fix by fixing the access settings and, for example, set the step size to auto. Another problem that might occur is that the colors might be different, for example, due to a new color palette, which I can solve by recoloring the series or single data points, and if necessary, I can also change the customizing. It can happen that shapes on top of the chart might be misaligned, and I can rework this by temporarily turning off the preloading for the chart and fixing the shape position. And now we're going to take a look on how these hints work practically and have a look on two exemplary conversions of ThinkSell charts. On this slide, you can see two ThinkSell charts of which I'm going to convert one so that you can always see the original one right next to it. So if I convert this chart by simply clicking on this button, You can see that the result looks pretty much the same as the original. There's only one minor flaw. This font size is a bit too small. I can easily correct this by changing the font size of the whole chart in the properties menu and make it one size bigger and then smaller once again. So now that is fixed. Other than that, both charts are the same. Of course, I could change the colors, but I'm not going to do this right now in this video. In some cases, shapes such as this red arrow might be a bit out of place after the conversion. And in order to be able to click on the shape, I have to switch off the preloading of the chart by clicking on the eye symbol right here. And now I can easily select the shape and move it around. Note that when the preloading is switched off, I can still work with my chart. There's just a delay because I have to click on the chart to activate it. 
But if you're using a lot of shapes, it can be helpful to turn the preloading off. On the next slide, you can see Think Cell line charts, of which I'll convert this one like that. Now you can see that the converter did not exactly understand the number format of the percentages. We can easily solve this problem by firstly taking a look at our data in the mini Excel. Then I can see what number format I have here, which would already be percentages. So in this case, I can simply navigate the data labels menu and select use Excel number format and choose that I only want to show the value in my data labels. So now you see that this is fixed. Moreover, you can see in the ThinkCell chart, the axis has a different number format than the data labels. And this circumstance leads to confusion. Impor always uses the same number format for the data labels and for the respective axis, because we think the axis should simply be a complete benchmark for all of my data points. If I want to further adjust the axis, I can simply click on it and then change, for example, the step size to 2%. And thereby I have less numbers on the axis. Moreover, I can move this label a bit and choose not to display the connector line. And now the result looks very good, maybe even improved because the axis and data labels are now fitting each other. The next chart type we're going to take a look on is gun charts. The first problem that might occur during converting things to gun charts is that the position of labels are set to their default positions. You can rework this by manually moving the labels as desired. Moreover, all objects have the same height after the conversion, but I can modify the common object height in the properties menu as desired. Lastly, it is not possible in Empower to have subrows in a row, but I can change the structure of my gun chart to avoid subrows, for example, add a row. In this exemplary ThinkSell gun chart, you can see that we have some kind of element right here that is not really a subrow, but still hangs down a bit. After converting the whole slide, you can see that I don't have subrows right here, but if this would bother me, I could still move this element in another row. Moreover, you can now see that Empower uses a consistent height for all objects in the gun chart, which I can adjust right here in the properties menu. So that especially the milestones don't look that chunky anymore. In this area, you can see that there are some overlapping milestone labels, which I can fix by simply clicking on the respective label and thus changing its position. The last chart type I want to talk about is waterfall charts. In some cases, after the conversion, the waterfall will look different than the original. And the solution steps for reworking this is to first look at your data, then decide for a left to right or right to left waterfall, and to thirdly modify your data so you get the desired waterfall. You can use new and on top features if necessary. In the following examples, I'm going to show you how you can use these solution steps exactly. Also note that we created a whole video on waterfall charts if you'd like to get further information on how to work with them. Another aspect is that the label visibility might be different, especially concerning data labels and some labels. And you can rework this by deleting unwanted labels. And now I'm going to show you how you can convert waterfall charts practically. On these two slides, you can see two ThinkSell charts that look exactly the same. 
Now I'll convert both of them. While converting waterfall charts, it doesn't matter which kind of standing waterfall type I select here. Now I'll convert this waterfall chart. And now you can see that the converted results look completely different, although the original charts look pretty much the same. The reason for that is the following. It is important to note that there is a fundamental difference in the creation of waterfall charts if you compare Thinksa and Empower. Empower always draws the waterfall exactly according to the data in the Excel or Mini Excel. Whereas Thinksal charts can use data that suggest a certain waterfall, but I can still edit the chart so that another waterfall can be created. So to illustrate this, the first waterfall matches the data it is based on. This is why the conversion works very well. There are only some minor differences between the original Thinksal chart and the converted charts, which we're going to deal with in a minute. The next waterfall looks exactly the same as the previous one, but uses completely different data. And this is why the converted chart looks completely different too. And in order to understand this, we'll have a look on the data of this chart in the mini Excel. You can see here that we start at 50, then have a step of minus 3, and then a sum follows. So far, so good. The next data point suggests a step of plus 3, but the user actually wants a step of minus 3 that you can see right here. The easiest way is now to simply adjust the data and add a minus right here. The same applies right here. There I also want to go down. This is why I'll add a minus 15 right here and here. Now you can see that I have the desired result of the waterfall. The following hints for reworking apply to both charts, but I'll show you them only right here once. First of all, as you can see, the data labels were converted differently, but I can simply select and delete unwanted labels quickly like that. Moreover, I can switch off the automatic background for my data labels in the data labels menu right here. And now my charts look pretty much the same. Maybe the user doesn't want to show the minuses in the chart, but I can quickly change this by defining a custom data label right here and selecting the option use absolute values. And now you can see that we fixed all of the issues. Moreover, you can see that Empower also inserts these conversion warnings in cases where a closer look might be needed and they give you some information that might help with that. So I hope this video helped you to understand how you can convert PowerPoint native and things like charts into Empower charts and how you can rework converted charts. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.